We're not trying to introduce church to bikers. We're trying to introduce them to Jesus. This is not the church to come if you don't want hugs and people to love on you. You take biker Bob out there or Billy that's got hair down to here and tattoos and old gruff and, and he gets saved. Now what do you do? Now you get cleaned up and cover your tattoos and cut your hair and stuff, and then we'll let you come in, but you're never going to teach Sunday school. You're probably never going to sing in the choir or what. They wouldn't be welcomed in a traditional church, you know? But if, when they come here, it's like home to them. He threw a leg across that iron horse. Before I started going to Freedom Breaker Church, I hadn't been to church in probably 20 years. I had went as a child with my mother, but other than that, I wasn't going. I wasn't even thinking about going. Buried in baptism. Woo! Raised the walk and used the life. What began, God began to lay on our hearts was, you know, man, there's not a, there's not really a place for them to go. It was my home church, and not saying anything about it, but I just was not comfortable in there. I couldn't really just be myself. We have people that come here that aren't bikers, that don't ride, um, uh, because of the realness and the closeness, and you know, just God's presence here. I first came to Freedom Biker Church just to kind of find out what it really meant. I knew what it was like to be a biker, but it had been a long time since I've known what it's like to be in a church. To, to hear the two words together just didn't seem right, so I had to come to, come to find out. Man, we're at Freedom Biker Church, and uh, it's just a new work God started. July 13th will be our two-year anniversary, open house, and uh, just out of a passion and a burden to reach bikers, unchurched bikers. If you'd asked us two years ago, we would, would we be doing this? I would have said, huh, are you crazy? Uh, yesterday was uh, the Andrew Bike Fest. Uh, it's an annual event they have. Uh, they try to keep it as a family-oriented event, so they had a couple of Christian bands, uh, Second Chance, which a good portion of our praise band here is a part of um, play. Used to live my life in the fast lane. I met the devil through whiskey and cocaine And I danced with the devil till he almost took my life And Freedom Bike Church set up a booth Just try to, as an outreach to the community um, Just uh, try to introduce people to the church Our focus and purpose is to uh, be a brotherhood of bikers, you know, that are bound by that faith relationship with Christ. And a lot of people don't associate that with bikers, but they're a real group of people. And once you become in brotherhood with them, there, there's an outpouring of love and strength that you're not going to get anywhere else. And if you're not real, they'll let you know that you're not real. That's a biker. They'll call you on the carpet in a minute if you're not real with them. And I just want to talk for a few minutes about how to ride Free. If you're going to ride free, number one, you have got to have a relationship with God. Buried in baptism, raised the walk, and do it for life. To have a God so big and loves us so much that all you got to do is ask, and He'll take you back, and then He'll actually use you because I'm nothing. But He'll use you and your experiences. Uh, Hopefully to bring others to him. That's that's awesome, man. We got a cool guy. Uh, we have a hangout time in the mornings, and then we have worship rally instead of Sunday school and church service. We do our bike, our Bible studies in bike shops during the week, different area bike shops, biker friendly hangouts and stuff like that. And uh, you know, so we cover all the bases as far as discipleship, evangelism, missions, but we just do it in a biker environment in a biker way. Where would you be now? This Freedom Biker Church has really changed our lives. It, it has taught us, it's taught us how to live. If any function I did, it, beer was involved in it, and now I've been without it, and I don't even miss it. Today's my birthday, it's going to be my first sober one in over 30 some years. At the cross, at the cross. I think the success of it is not that this is the way you do every church plant. This is the way you do an affinity-based church plant when you're really trying to reach your target. Is you really got to know your target. Your leadership team has to be 
out of that target group. This, I'd do it all over again. In the joy I have in my heart, I wouldn't take all the money in the world for this feeling I have, for this church, for this family I have here.